So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to have uh, my camera pan down and we have a model here of a penis. And what I'm going to show you that's perfect is a, uh, a way to do a penile injection at home. So what I've done is I've got a, the needle and these needles are very small. The, the gauge of the needle is a 31 gauge needle. So that's basically like a flu shot. And anybody that's had a flu shot, you barely feel that sting. So these are not giant needles. Uh, they're very small. They're what we call insulin or tuberculin needles. And they, uh, they have a very finite, um, a finite length on them as well, just long enough to be able to get into the corporal body. So you've decided to have an injection. You've made this decision and you have an entire kit that will come from the pharmacy. Your medication will come to you, usually chilled or on ice even, because it has to be refrigerated when uh, and not in use. And you'll have a nice instruction manual about how to go through this, but, but use this video as a way uh, for you to make sure that you're going through the steps. To me, I think about it as this. You've got the delivery vehicle, you've got the drug, and then you've got the delivery receptacle, which is which is your penis or your partner's penis. And again, partners are more than welcome to also do the injection. I have some men who are needle phobic that their partners can also do the injections for them. So sometimes I'll have couples demonstrations where they both come in and we all can all learn together. So one thing that will be on your prescription will be exactly the dosing that your physician thinks is a reasonable starting place. And to that end, that's what we're gonna draw up. So a lot of men I, in my practice, I think we start somewhere between 15 and 20 to 25 units. So because of the video, I think we'll go to 25 units and that's a moderate dose. You can continue to go up on a standard trimix, but we'll start around 25 and see how it goes. So you have a skinny part of the needle, that's, uh, I'm sorry, the syringe, and then you've got the plunger part up here. So the first thing you would wanna do is take off the plunger part. You can't hurt yourself on this. And you wanna draw up 25 units, which these will come in increments of 10, 20, 30, 40. So somewhere around halfway between 20 and 30, you draw up the air, you pop this, you'll pop this out. And the other thing before you do that too, if the first time you use this, the your syringe or your your uh, your vessel will have actually a little metal cap on it, so it's sterile. But as you can see, this one has been taken off. So every time you do an injection again, you want to wipe this with alcohol to make sure you don't introduce any infection into you. The best way to open these pads and look super cool doing it is just tear it in half and the pad pops out. So you're not trying to futz with it when you're in the middle of trying to uh, become intimate with somebody. So that'll, that'll uh, give you cool points. And then you just simply and aggressively wipe the top of this gray bladder, which is very, very uh, squishy. It's made of a silicone slash latex top. And that's where you're gonna plunge the needle. So now your alcohol swab has been applied. You're already pre-dosed to 25, which seems like a good unit. You're gonna flip this over so that you don't get any air in the injection, which is not gonna hurt you, but it's not gonna give you an erection if you're just injecting air. So now I've got the prescribed dose here around 25, and you're gonna just pop it in here with the fluid down, and then you're gonna plunge in. And when you plunge in, you make sure all the air is out, and it'll just kind of, you'll slowly back up until you get back to your 25 or so. And make sure it's all the way filled. It's hard to see because this is a clear fluid, but say we did it and you're at 25, you're done. You put this down. And because this is like a cooking show, I'll have a preloaded needle here. We'll switch over to this. And with this needle now, you're ejecting at 25. You will take another alcohol pad. And then the site that you're gonna inject which is anywhere along the shaft of the penis. It can be to the base, it can be all the way out to the tip, but you wanna go before the crown of the penis, the corona, the head, because that's not the erectile part of the penis. The erectile part is the shaft all the way back down to your pubic bone. And you can either do left side, right side. The only places that you don't wanna inject are gonna be right down the top, because you might miss. You're gonna go through some nerves, some blood vessels, and then you're gonna go through an area of the penis called the septum where there's not a lot of erectile tissue. So you could be just putting it into empty space and not getting a really good response. The other place you don't wanna put it is on the bottom because on the bottom is your urethra. And if you put in your urethra, again, nothing bad is gonna to happen to you, but you're gonna waste your injection. So you really just wanna get it into the meat or the shaft of the penis. 
So once you've done that with your, I'm left-handed, I'll, I'll do it right-handed. I can, we can go both ways for people that, uh, that are right-handed. You're gonna hold yourself on stretch. And I tend to just hold this somewhat like a penis. I've got a good grip on the needle and you just plunge it in until you see kind of a dent to make sure you're all the way hubbed and you just gotta do it. You just gotta jump in and do it. If you go too low or you're too superficial, then you're not going to get the medication in the right spot. So now I've got it plunged in. I don't let go of the needle. I just kind of march back to get into position to do the injection and there's no time to do it. You just gotta pop it in and then you pop it out and then you should have somewhere near your bedside a sharp container. So you just pop it in, put your sharps container away, you can wipe out the area again or hold a little bit of pressure. This is super important. If you're on blood thinners for anything, even aspirin, you will bruise a little bit more and, uh, and get some significant bruising if you're on any of the, the heavy duty plate, uh, blood thinners. But as long as you're holding pressure there for about 90 seconds, your rate of bruising shouldn't be that dramatic. So I don't tell my patients that are on blood thinners that they, don't, uh, they aren't candidates for injection therapy. So once you've cleaned the area off, now you just wait. And the part about waiting is this is a great time to engage in foreplay and start becoming intimate if you're having partnered sex because the your natural brain will take over. You'll feel the intimate thoughts. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and pan back out to me now here and we'll get uh, this off. And that is perfect. We're back. So what I find is that you you're, will use that time to have foreplay. So a lot of men will say, well, when should I do the shot? And it kind of depends on if you're having partnered intercourse, it depends on the cadence that you typically have that with a partner you're with. So sometimes engaging in foreplay for a while and really getting to the point where you would normally have penetrative in intercourse if everything was working is fine. Then you can very briefly uh, and discreetly do your injection and then get back into foreplay because it can take minutes, uh, not usually more than about 10 before you can get an erection suitable for penetration. Now, if we get the dosing right, if you and your physician and potential pharmacist get the dosing right, you can also do this injection before you even have foreplay. Excuse yourself to the bathroom and do the injection in the bathroom and then come to bed and start engaging in foreplay. And then as you're, as you're doing that, the erection, the medication, your own thoughts and the own pleasure you're receiving will allow you to achieve that erection suitable for penetration. That might be a more natural way to do this. There are some men that don't want to share with their partners that they're engaging in injection therapy in order to achieve an erection. And that's also possible as well. Again, it's, it's completely up to how you uh, and your individual sexual experiences will, will govern the best way for you to do injection therapy. So that's really it. it it's something simple. It seems um, a little daunting to think about having to give yourself a shot in order to inj in, enjoy uh, penetrative intercourse. But if it works for you, it, it's a truly rewarding experience. And I have some men that, that are on injection therapy for years, for decades, and, and are quite satisfied with it. If you found this video helpful and want to stay in the loop with our growing men's health community, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell to be notified when new content is available. Your support makes it easier for other men like you to find these helpful resources. Thanks again for watching. We hope to see you again.